Kosovo remains on a knife edge after NATO reinforced its presence at the northern border with Serbia. Anger boiled over on Tuesday at the troubled checkpoints when a dozen people were hurt in clashes as NATO tried to dismantle the Serb barricades. Well, let's get the latest now from our correspondent, Alexei Yereshevsky, who's in Belgrade for us. Um, Alexei, you've just arrived there. What's the atmosphere like? Is the region sitting on a, a power keg once again? Well, for now, the simmering tension has calmed down from uh, about two days ago, and we understand that the situation still remains very tense and uh, potentially very much explosive, as we understand that Serbs are reinforcing their checkpoints, their uh, man-made checkpoints, and uh, the uh, K-4 and NATO troops are pulling more soldiers to uh, the front line, to, uh, to the place where, to the borderline, where the place with, where the clashes have been happening uh, for the past several months. Now. Uh, on Tuesday night, uh, another uh, clash happened at uh, the Yerenia checkpoint uh, and at the Kosovo border, uh, the, border, the border between Kosovo and Serbia. Uh, and there's still a great deal of controversy surrounding this incident because the sides are playing a blame game and uh, nobody knows whom to blame for this attack. Well, NATO troops are saying that those were the uh, Kosovo Serbs who provoked the attack. At the same time, uh, the NATO troops are saying that they used rubber bullets and gas grenades, uh, tear gas grenades against uh, the attackers. While we have uh, reports from medical services in the area that uh, the injured uh, were delivered to the hospital carrying gunshot uh, wounds. So it is really hard to say what's uh, true and what's false in all this story and who is to blame for the Tuesday's incident. Uh, meanwhile, there has been a very sharp response from Belgrade on the events of Tuesday night. The latest events in the north of Serbia show two facts. First, that Pristina is about to set up customs around what they think is the independent state of Kosovo. On the other hand, they show that there are international unions and a whole number of states that approve of such intentions of Pristina. We are facing a situation here when international forces deployed in Kosovo in fact serve the needs of Pristina instead of maintaining a neutral position. This is why Serbia is against it. We understand that now uh, more than almost a dozen uh, people remain in hospitals with uh, heavy injuries and there's also been uh, some moves on the diplomatic level with Belgrade suspending negotiations with Kosovo on technical issues which were due to be held uh, in these days and uh, these negotiations, negotiations have been halted until uh, the, uh, this issue, this dispute has been resolved. Now, Alexia, it's not an isolated incident, is it? This has been building for a while now. This has been happening ever since July, in fact, ever since the Kosovo police set up roadblocks on the border with uh, Kosovo and Serbia, thus uh, enforcing a trade embargo, preventing uh, the, uh, the sale of goods from the mainland Serbia to the uh, Serbs living in the Kosovo area. And ever since uh, that, this area has been uh, in uh, tension with Serbs, uh, Kosovo Serbs building uh, man-made barricades there and uh, provoking clashes with, uh, with the NATO force and the Kosovo police. So, uh, Definitely, this area now remains in high tension, just as the whole region. And there has been very sharp responses on international level, with in particular uh, the Russian foreign ministry saying that this particular uh, dispute, this particular incident, destabilizes the situation in the whole region and could, could lead to very serious consequences. So uh, the sides are waiting for any kind of resolution to that. We are on our way to uh, the border, to the border post of Yerenia, and we'll be bringing our report from there as soon as we get uh, the latest information from the scene. Okay, Alexei, many thanks for that. Artis Alexei Yereshevsky reporting for us from Belgrade.